Right, so we come back to the fourth part of chapter 2. We talk about different kinds of milk. In this part, we will see the main differences in composition between cow milk and human milk. And also other kind of milk like buffalo, horse milk, and so on. But the most important is to find the main differences between cow milk and human milk because these are more related to our diet, to our nutrition. What do we see here? This graph will show us what the relation between protein content. If you look at the vertical axis, protein content are different kinds of milk. And then the horizontal axis is the fat content of the milk. Here is the cow milk. Cow milk, we already know that has 4% of fat and 3.3% of protein. Here you look at other kinds of milk like pig milk. The pig milk has quite high fat content and quite high protein content compared to cow milk. This is the sheep as well is higher. Buffalo milk and goat milk are also quite popular. If you look at buffalo milk, which has much higher fat content compared to cow milk and has similar protein, a little bit higher protein uh, content compared to cow milk. If you look at the top here, you see reindeer. Reindeer milk is very rich in fat and very rich in protein, higher than 10% of protein, higher than 15% of fat, means that this milk is very rich in energy. You know, reindeers are the animal which live in very cold weather. Normally, uh, during Christmas, Santa Claus will ride this animal to give uh, to, to transport gifts to around the world. That, that is a Christmas story. But then the animal need a lot of energy in very cold weather, so the milk actually very rich in proteins and fat content. Here, if you look at the bottom, you will see the horse milk and the ass milk. These milks are quite diluted. They have lower milk protein content and lower fat content compared to cow milk. Right, so this table will only tell us the differences in protein and fat. But when we talk about nutrition, when we talk about healthy components, good components, there are many things else to say. This one, again, just give the difference in protein and fat content. This, this is relevant for processing, for example. When you want to convert liquid milk into a product, then protein and fat content is important to have the yield of processing, recovery yield, for example. But when we talk more in detail, what are specific components inside, which one, then we do normally need more or need less than... This figure doesn't say, okay? So what I want to, to just express here, emphasize here is that when you look at horse milk, you see that it has low content of fat and protein, but never know it can be good for human nutrition in other terms. Right, so now this slide, now we look at human milk. Human milk has specific composition. Each species of animal will have specific composition of its milk. Of course, milk from human doesn't have the same composition as milk from cow or from buffalo and so on. But what is special for human milk is that it has more natural defense components like immunoglobulins, these are soluble proteins in the whey protein part. These are defense components. Eh? The antibody proteins actually are oligosaccharide, bifidus factors. Bifidus factor is similar like prebiotic. Means the component which stimulate the growth of good bacteria 
in the gut, in the gastrointestinal tract, and then inhibit the growth of pathogens in the gut. So when an ingredient or a meal has more bifidus factors, and normally it's better for the gut immunity, especially for children. So milk, of course, is more suitable for human baby. So more defense component for human baby. And science um, already approved that. For example, if a baby is raised up with breastfeeding, like if a mother gives milk to her baby for at least six months or 12 months, then he would have less incidence to become sick compared to baby who are fed with milk formulas from cow milk right a uh, human meal has higher amount of lactose compared to cow milk human meal has lower protein content if you remember protein content of cow milk is 3.3 percent so human milk has less than 3.3 percent in total proteins however there is one good thing about milk proteins that in cow milk 80 percent is casein around 20 percent is whey protein but in human milk more than 50 percent is whey proteins whey protein occupy a higher percentage so this is very much different compare between human milk and cow milk and then when people want to use cow milk to make infant formula to make milk powder for human infant then they need first to change this ratio to change this to increase the whey protein to reduce the casein so the infant formula had a similar ratio between these two groups of protein and more suitable for infant baby for human infant babies and then for ghost milk ghost milk is quite rich or relatively rich in proteins and fat when they are rich in protein especially they are rich in casein protein then the milk is suitable to make cheese because in making cheese you coagulate casein you coagulate this, you will form a gel of this, precipitate this protein to form the cheese. So if the milk has rich content of casein, then it's good for making cheese. Sheep milk is also quite rich in proteins and fat compared to cow milk, then it's also suitable for processing cheese. Buffalo milk is, has a quite similar composition as cow's milk composition but has much higher fat content if you remember from the figure horse milk has low fat and protein content if you remember the figure horse milk is there at the bottom so they contain low fat and low protein content it's you for making yogurt it's not suitable for making cheese because it has low casein content Hot milk is actually very expensive. Eh? Normally, it's now is you used in cosmetic, in the cosmetic for uh, applying on the skin and so on. So we have different kinds of milk, but we can classify them into two groups. The first group of milk which are rich in casein include cow, sheep, goat, buffalo milk. These are suitable for making cheese because they are rich in casein. But remember, casein is more difficult for digestion. If you eat cheese in the morning, maybe you are full for a longer time. It's like that because the digestion of casein is more difficult, especially for babies. And then another group of milk, which is which are rich in whey protein, which are rich in soluble protein. They are soluble, so they are easy for digestion. They have higher nutritional value okay, because they are easy for digestion and the amino acid profile is optimal. Right, so this is the good thing of whey protein. And in this group, you'll see human milk, horse milk. Horse milk 
is low in protein and fat, but they are they have the composition is quite more related to human meals. These meals are not suitable for making cheese because they don't have a lot of, of caseins. Now, cow milk have higher ratio of casein. Human milk has higher ratio of whey protein. That is the reason why I told you they have to change from cow milk. In, in order to take cow milk ingredients to do infant formula for human baby, they have to change this ratio. Because if they don't change, the powder milk become very difficult for infant baby to digest. Uh, and then later on, at the time, at the age that you get married, you have a baby, you will know that actually when a baby, an infant baby below 12 months of age, they do not give him directly cow milk. So normally you see in Vietnam even, rarely you see that parent will give cow milk, like USD milk to baby of low age. Because the composition of cow milk is not very optimal for for infant human, quite difficult for digestion for the baby. Only then above a year, then they normally give directly USD milk from cow milk to, to babies. You also know that there are infant formula, infant milk powder, they they classify into formula 1, formula 2, and formula 3. Uh, formula 1 is for the infant from 0 to 6 months, formula 2 from 6 months to 12 months, and then formula 3 from 12 months to 36 months, for example. Now, if you already buy infant milk powder for your brother, little brothers, or your nephew, uh, nieces, and so on, then you would already know. There are three formula for infant in the market because they research, investigate the human meal and they know that during the lactation, the meal composition changes. Even human meal also changes like cow meal. But it, so they will make different formula for different age range uh, to be sure it's the most suitable for the infant. However, whatever they do, whatever they modify or change, they cannot make an infant formula which have similar composition like human milk. Uh, human milk is human milk. You cannot use cow milk to make similar like human milk. This is the reason why if you watch television, sometimes they advertise milk powder for kids. Uh, Sometimes they advertise milk powder for kids, but at the end of advertisement, it is the regulation, it is the law that they have to read this sentence. Sữa mẹ là tốt nhất cho trẻ sơ, sự phát triển của trẻ sơ sinh và trẻ nhỏ. Kind of like human milk or modern milk is the best for the development of infant and kids. Uh, that is what the sentence that they have to pronounce clearly when they advertise milk for children. And one thing else you also notice that according to the law, it's not allowed to advertise infant milk for kids below 12 months. Okay, if you, if you watch television or you listen to radio, you never hear or you never see any advertisement for the infant powder for children for kids below 12 months because this is not allowed because we already confirmed that mother milk is the best we should not advertise anything like that otherwise the mother will just skip her meal and then buy infant formula that's not good for the babies i don't know if you get where i'm talking anyway now we look at the table and then this will summarize the differences in competition of human meal this is you see human meal homo sapien this is a scientific name human meal has higher fat content compared to cow meal much less casein and then here similar whey protein here if you look at cow bostarus okay 
casein 2.6, whey protein 0.6. Total protein of human meal is much less than total protein of cow meal. The ratio, if you look at the ratio of casein over whey protein, this is what 80-20, but this is what less than 50, more than 50%. You see the ratio is very much different. And then human meal is easier for digestion for the infant. Cow milk has 4.6% of lactose, but human milk has much higher percentage of lactose. It stays a little bit sweeter. Okay. He, this table also tells you the composition of pig milk, of chenna pig milk, rat, rabbit, donkey, and buffalo, and so on. So if you want to have a figure on composition of different kinds of milk, you just look at this table. So now we are done with part four. We talk about different kinds of milk. And then the last part of the chapter, we talk about factors which influence milk composition. But before we go there, I have some questions and then you need to answer if you can follow.